In our previous Sony A6700 video, we took a look at the focus system built into this camera, and this week we're going to be taking a look at the metering modes and how they affect our photographs. Now this can seem quite complicated, so I'm going to do my best to keep it as simple as possible so everybody gets a good understanding of what metering modes actually do. In its basic form, our metering modes is where the camera takes the light information from within our scene, and then calculates the correct exposure for our photo. Now before we take a look at metering modes, we must all have a basic understanding of exposure, and no, I don't mean taking your clothes off. Just so everybody is on the same page, exposure in photography refers to the balance of brightness and darkness in your photos, or more commonly known as highlights and shadows. If an area is too bright, we refer to this as overexposed, and if it's too dark, it's referred to as underexposed. The correct exposure is the perfect balance of the two. Now out of the box, the Sony a6700 is set up to meter our whole scene, and this means it takes all the light information from the whole of our scene and processes it to work out what the ideal brightness, or as we now know, exposure, should be for the whole of our image. This is fine when you want your whole image to be correctly exposed, but when you're taking photos of subjects or objects, this can often result in them being underexposed or overexposed. This is because we've told the camera to take all the light information from the whole scene and not just our subject. But in the Sony a6700 we have a way to adjust this and it's called our metering modes and that's what we're going to be looking at right now. Now to find our metering modes we go to our main menu, head down to the pink tab, exposure and colour, menu number 3, metering, and then selecting meter modes. This then brings up all our metering modes. We'll be taking a look at each of the options and telling you exactly what they do. Now for completeness, a quicker way of entering into your meter modes is pressing on the FN button on the back of your camera. This brings up the quick menu and just move across to metering modes. Or another way to access your quick switch menu is just to swipe up on the bottom of the screen. Well, that's enough waffle. Let's take a look at our first metering mode, which is called multi. In the Sony a6700 manual, multimetering measures the balance of light over the entire scene for normal shooting. And what this means in the real world is when we take a photo, our camera analyzes the full scene, taking light information from here, here, here and here, 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 here and here. I think you get the gist of it. Our camera then takes this lighting information and calculates what it thinks is the best exposure for the whole entire scene. The downside of using this metering mode is if you have a subject that's in a particular part of your image, as previously mentioned, it might be overexposed or underexposed, but this is all determined by the surrounding light environment in our scene. The next metering mode we're going to look at is called Center, and in Sony's manual this says that it measures light with emphasis placed on the center area of the screen. And what this means in the real world is that our Sony camera takes all the lighting information from the whole scene, just like in our multimeter mode, but places emphasis on the center of the screen to try to make sure this part is exposed correctly. And how much emphasis does the camera put on the center of the screen to making sure this is exposed correctly? Well, we'll never know for sure because this comes down to Sony's algorithm and coding built into the camera. One of the downsides to using this metering mode is if you put your subject in a poorly lit light environment, you might get areas of your photo that are overexposed or underexposed. Our next metering mode we're going to take a look at is called Spot, and in Sony's manual it says measures the brightness in the spot circle. And what this means in the real world is that the camera is only going to take the light information from the very centre of our scene. It's going to completely ignore any light information coming from outside of our circle. This metering mode is perfect for when you need something specifically in your shot to be exposed correctly. Now before we take a look at the next metering mode in the Sony a6700, it's worth pointing out that if you press your shutter button down halfway, just like focus, our exposure is locked and we can recompose the shot. Our exposure won't change even if the lighting environment does, because our shutter button locks our exposure to that scene. 
To allow the camera to re-evaluate the lighting information from a different scene, you have to release the shutter button and press it back down halfway. We'll be looking at more of these settings in future videos, so if you want to see them, make sure you subscribe to the channel. I highly recommend you check out my focus video that I'll pin in the top comment, but let's get back to meter modes. And the next metering mode is entire screen average. And in the Sony manual, the entire screen average measures the average brightness of the entire screen. So what does this mean in the real world? Well, unlike our first metering mode, which was multi, where it scans the whole scene and uses some of the AI built into the camera to determine the best exposure, the entire screen average looks at set areas within our shot and then averages them all out to one set level. If anybody's interested in what the level is, it's 18% grey, but you don't have to remember this. Now, I would give you some good points and bad points about using this metering mode, but the truth is I just never use it. So let me know if you use this metering mode and what you use it for in the comments below so that others can learn. Our final metering mode that we're gonna be looking at is called highlight. And in the Sony manual, it says, highlight measures the brightness concentrating on the highlighted area of the screen, a mode optimal for shooting scenes with reduced overexposure. So in the real world, what happens when we press our shutter button down on our camera, the camera automatically detects what is the brightest area of our scene. In this example, it's the lady's hat. It then sets the correct exposure, knowing that this is the brightest part of our image. Every other part of our image will be darker or slightly underexposed compared to this area. The benefit of using this meter mode is that your photos should never be overexposed but a downside to it is your darker areas may be very underexposed. Now, before we wrap this video up, I'm just gonna share with you one final setting. Now, this setting requires you to have some knowledge of the focus system built into the A6700. So if you've not already watched my focus setting video, I highly recommend that you go do that now. If we open up our quick menu and go to focus area and select spot focus area, which is explained in my focus setting video. Once you've selected this, come out of this menu and head over to meter in mode. And then select meter in mode spot. Now this can be large or small by pressing left or right on your dial. We can see that our focus area we can move about by using the dial on the back of the camera. But our meter mode is the circle in the center of the screen. I will overlay a red circle just so it's more visible. But if we change this setting in the menu, go down to the pink tab, exposure and color, go to menu three, metering, and then head over to spot metering point. Change this from center to focus point link. And then if you exit out the menu, you'll notice that our metering mode is now fixed to our focusing point. This means whatever we focus on in our scene will also be automatically correctly exposed by the camera. So that's the metering modes inside the Sony A6700, a little beast of a camera. Hopefully I've done a good enough job in breaking down the camera jargon to help you understand how metering modes can aid your photography. And just like our focusing modes in the Sony camera, there's no wrong way or right way of setting your metering mode. Each setting has its advantages and disadvantages, so don't ever let anybody tell you you're using the wrong mode. Do what you think is best. And as I always say, the best way of learning about metering modes and how they work is just going out and playing with the camera, testing out each mode and seeing which method works best for you. But that's it for this video. If you've got anything at all from it, please give it a big thumbs up. Leave a comment in the comment section below. And if you want to see further videos from myself, please hit that subscribe button, tickle the bell and we'll catch up in the next video. Oh, and whilst you're here, why don't you check out this video also? Thank you everyone for watching.